What are the top apparel brands with consumers under 23 years old, also known as Gen Z? Sure. Well, I, I think just to start and kind of set the stage, I mean, we're all really looking for green shoots and, and teens are really giving us some shine, signs of optimism and, and reasons to be optimistic about this recovery, uh, particularly within the apparel space. Uh, females are really driving the rebound here. Female teens, uh, their wallet share that they devote toward clothing is actually the highest it's been since 2013, again, according to this Piper Sandler survey. Now, looking at all teens and, and their favorite apparel brands, Nike remains the top choice uh, within the, both the clothing sector and for footwear. Nike is, is clearly a dominant player here. I think that hits on some of the trends that we've seen during the pandemic, this trend toward and move toward uh, athleisure wear, loungewear, sneakers, more comfortable clothing, um, you know, all the time. And, and Nike is still dominant within that space. Um, American Eagle, it was second on the list. Lululemon actually moved up to the fourth spot. That was its highest position on this list. Um, Urban Outfitters and Abercrombie and Fitch's Hollister division were on the list as well. So some classic teen brands that you might think of. But now two interesting things that, that I want to call out here. One is this online Chinese fashion marketplace called Sheen. It ranked number eight on the list, the first time that it's ever cracked the top 10. That's largely driven to this rise of, of TikTok influencers and whatnot, are, are really seeing a surge in popularity of Sheen. And consignment and thrift stores also ranked number 10, and that was up from 23 uh, just a year ago. So a huge increase with, with the consignment trend among teens. Yeah, Lauren, I really want to ask you about that. Nike's my favorite brand, too, but I don't quite understand this consignment <laughs> and thrift trend. Is there any reason why younger people are gravitating towards clothing that someone else has worn? Totally. So, so secondhand marketplaces, think uh, Poshmark, Thread Up, both of those actually just recently went public. The Real Real is public as well. There's another platform called Depop. They're really popular with younger consumers. When you ask Gen Z teens what they care about, they often think of sustainability. That, that ranks pretty high on the list. So this idea of putting clothes back into the life cycle, not throwing as much apparel away each year. Um, about 47% of teens say that they've bought something on a secondhand marketplace. 55% of teens say they've sold something. So it's also another way for them to make it cash. Maybe they don't have a job. Um, so really, with the growth of these platforms online, we're really seeing a transition from teens into that space as well. Yeah, that sneaker resale market, that's definitely hot. Get that part. All right, lastly, oh, yeah. aside from StockX. shopping, yeah. <laughs> how else are teens spending their time besides shopping? Yeah, so if they're not on Amazon, if they're not on Sheen, uh, teens are, of course, they're on social media. Uh, teens are spending about 12 hours per week on average on social media apps. Snapchat is still the most popular among teens. Uh, Instagram is up there as well. TikTok, one to watch. Um, they actually stole some market share uh, in this survey by Piper Sandler from both Snapchat uh, and Instagram this time around. Um, and they're, they're watching videos as well. Um, about 37% of the time that teens are spending watching content on the internet or online, that's Netflix. Uh, Netflix is taking about 37% of that. YouTube as well. Uh, cable TV fell on the list. Uh, so it appears that more teens are either cutting the cord or their parents are. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.